Hi there you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Alina and I am a first year student here at Canadian Memorial Chiropractic College, CMCC, in Toronto. And today is Sunday, May 21st. I am in the middle of my final exam, so this is going to be like a one take video. But recently, the acceptances for the class of 2027 have come out and I thought I would make a little video on like what to expect, um, how to prepare in the summer for the program, kind of like a video I wish was posted last summer when I was going through the same thing and I, I had just got accepted. But first and foremost, a huge congratulations if you got accepted into the program. I know it was not easy, but you did it and I'm so proud of you, whether that be the class of 2027, 2028 or any other year in the future. So yeah, I wrote a few things down on my phone that I'll be talking about that I kind of wish I knew back when I was um, preparing for Cairo. And this is going to be like a one take video because this is a study break for me because I'm in the middle of exams. So yeah, bear with me on this one. So to start off the video, uh, let's just uh, talk about like random files and stuff. So you're gonna get a lot of information sent to you on your email for like CMC or CMCC email and there's gonna be like a list of a bunch of files forms that you got to fill out and send over. I don't really remember when they're due so please don't use this as your reference. Do check your email and adhere to those dates. Um, but you do need to get a vulnerable sector check. So that was like a police record check. For me, I did it online, um, quick and easy. It took about a month to come back and then I just went and picked it up. So there is a little bit of turnover time, so I would hop on that. You also have to get like a TB test um, as well as like a vaccination history kind of thing like that. And a little story time. You have, to, you have to go in like a few times to your doctor as well. So make sure you're doing it at a time when you are like at home like available um but I went and my vaccination history wasn't fully up to date it was up to date like I did receive all the vaccinations I needed to when I was a kid but um when my family doctor retired not all of the files kind of transferred over to the more online system if that makes sense because it was like a long time ago so basically all I had to do was go get a blood test to prove that I had those antibodies, antigens, whatever it was, um, the blood biomarkers. So I went and I got my blood taken. I didn't want to bother anyone. I was like on top of my stuff last summer. I was like, I'm going to go get this done. It was my first time getting blood taken. And basically they took two vials and I didn't think it was going to be that much. And guess what happened? I passed out. I completely passed out on the chair, literally sitting up like this, and then completely passed out. Anyways, so my advice, moral of the story there, do go with someone because I had to call my mom and she had to come pick me up. My sister also had to come because someone had to drive the car home that I drove there. <laughs> so yes, do bring someone with you if you have to get your blood taken. <laughs> Anyways, you also have to do your CPRC um, so I did CPRC with AED, that kind of thing. I'm sure you guys have taken CPR courses in the past before, just like a little weekend course, something like that. And then be sure to also give like the, the acceptance deposit before the date um, that is required for. Anyways, let's move on until into what you have to buy. So I didn't know, but you had you have to buy an iPad for the program and basically it's because we take all of our exams on an app that is supported by iPad. We take them on Exemplify. So you'll probably get a follow up email on that um, regarding which models will work. And basically uh, in terms of accessories, do get a case because you don't want to just be whipping around your iPad with no case. And I got the Apple Pencil. I find it to be really useful, especially like during tests when I'm like clicking on things. Um, also for taking notes, things like that. And in terms of the Apple keyboard, I did not, oh, I have a little sticker there. Um, but I did not get the Apple keyboard thingy case because um, it was very expensive. And instead I just opted to get like a random keyboard off of Amazon, which works perfectly fine. It's a Bluetooth keyboard, it was like 20 bucks. 
And with that being said, I don't use my iPad to take notes. Some people do. It's definitely a great tool. I just prefer to use my laptop. That's what I'm used to from undergrad and that's what I like to do. So I use my laptop for notes and then my iPad for tests and then also for labs, things like that. You're gonna need your iPad. Anatomy labs, that kind of thing. Anyways, what's next? Oh, let's do the fun part. Um, diagnostic kit. So you are going to get one of these diagnostic kits. It's going to be included in your tuition and basically this diagnostic kit has a bunch of stuff in it that we're going to go through and you're going to be using it for labs, you're going to be using it in fourth year for your placements and yeah, it's really going to come in handy. So first and foremost, I emptied mine, all the stuff is here so I'm going to be like putting it in. Anyways, you're going to get a blood pressure cuff and thingy dial um, with several different blood pressure cuff sizes so I believe that was just the adult small. There's a little kitty one. Also got this large one and I believe I have one more as well that I left in my locker for some reason. Oh no wait, it's in here. Um, the bag that it actually comes with. So yeah, you're gonna get your blood pressure cuff and you're also going to get a stethoscope to take um, heart rate, things like that, and also for blood pressure because blood pressure, vitals, all that kind of thing is part of an initial chiropractic exam. Additionally, you're going to get some reflex hammers. So I have these two reflex hammers. I use this one like a lot. Um, you'll probably use that one a lot. I don't think I've ever used this one, but something cool about this one is you can undo this little thing. In my first practical, this thing wouldn't undo. It was very annoying but it has this little sharp thing for sharp dull testing for dermatomes. And then on the other end, if you undo it, you have the dull, the little filament thing for dull testing, which will all make sense once you are in the program. So in addition to that, you could also use, you also got tongue depressors as well as these cotton swab thingies for sharp and dull testing you can also use like if you break one of the tongue depressors in half you're also going to be getting a 512 and 128 tuning fork these will come in handy for some of the auditory tests that we're going to learn you're going to learn how to do as well as for detecting fractures yeah so two tuning forks you are also going to get a cool cmcc bookstore branded pen light and a CMCC branded measuring tape for some of the tests and stuff you're gonna learn. In addition to that, I didn't know we had this until I emptied this today, but also a thermometer and this eye um, testing uh, chart with a ruler thing at the back. So basically that's everything in my diagnostic kit. And yes, you're going to be using that all throughout the program, all the time. So of course, you probably also figured you're going to get a student card. So yeah, you're going to get a little student card. Didn't come with a lanyard, but there are lots of opportunities to get lanyards on campus, um, at booths, things like that. What else is on my list? A skeleton. So for some reason, okay, not for some reason, it's a valid reason we're chiropractic students. I thought I needed to get like a skeleton. I thought it might be useful for my learning and I completely forgot that I wanted one in the first place. So I don't recommend, or not that I don't recommend, I just don't think it's required to get a skeleton in the future. I probably will get one for my future practice for aesthetics and also to show patients like this bone, that bone. Um, but if you really want a skeleton, they have them at the library you can rent, basically sign out, or in the anatomy lab when you're learning about the vertebrae and stuff like that, you can rent out little bone boxes and use them within the lab on your own time. That's what I would recommend doing. Um, in addition to a table, so chiropractic tables. So I have two chiropractic tables in my house, neither of them are mine, they're my housemates. But in order to use a chiropractic table, you kind of need two people, right? You need a doctor and a patient. So I find that since we're all friends, we kind of just all share. And um, just a little side note, you can't perform any adjustments at home. 
um, an adjustment, a chiropractic adjustment is a regulated act. So you can only perform chiropractic adjustments if you are a licensed chiropractor or if you are um, at the school in technique class or in the FSTT labs. So there's gonna be a ton of time to practice your adjustments and stuff at school. Just at home, you're not allowed to do it, but you can still use your table to practice orthopedic tests, to practice grades one to four mobilizations, things like that. So it does definitely come in handy. And I do wanna get a like foldable chiropractic table so I can bring it home and just practice some of the tests and stuff on my family in the summer. But that will be a future purchase. But I definitely recommend having a table within your house if you're living with students or like whatever. Um, textbooks, well, I'll keep this short and sweet. I didn't buy any textbooks. <laughs> All right, so next up, let's talk about a week. So going into um, first year, the first week um, of school isn't really school. It's a full week to get to know your peers, to get acclimated into the CMCC environment. And honestly, just to like make friends, have a good time and feel more comfortable being here because this is where you're gonna be for the next four years. There's two different packages, the academic and social package. I would recommend getting the social package. That's what I did. And it just um, allows you to be able to go to all of the planned events, which student council plans. And some of the fun trips and stuff we did was a trip to Niagara Falls, where we went on the rapids and um, did a little wine tour. That was really fun. We also had a boat cruise around um, in Toronto. And then what are some of the other things? There's a ton planned by student council. It's probably gonna be different than th this year compared to last, but either way, I would recommend getting the social package and just really putting yourself out there to meet people, um, make those connections and feel comfortable going to the program. Be sure to also come with an open mind because this is gonna be an absolutely amazing portion of your life. These next four years, they're gonna be full of learning, full of opportunity, and they're gonna be absolutely amazing and I'm very excited for you. Feel free to check out the video I made on my O-Week experience for a little like preview, sneak peek type of thing. There was one more thing that, I, a few more things I wanted to talk about. So in terms of housing, um, I live near the school because my hometown is a little bit far from the school. And if you are looking for housing, I would recommend checking Places for Students. It's a website, that's where I found my house that I'm currently living in, and I live with a bunch of CMCC students. The two streets that um, come to mind uh, when I'm th I think of like where CMCC students live uh, are James Gray, as well as Francine Drive. So James Gray is a little bit more south, closer to the highway, not close to the highway, but like south of the school, five minute walk, whereas Francine's right across from the school, uh, east. Also like barely a walk. So those are the main two streets, as well as a lot of the surrounding streets have listings available. So, and if you're not living close to the school, Fear not, there's so many people that commute. It's totally fine, totally normal. At the end of the day, you're living your life and you're doing what works best for you. So you can also um, rent a parking spot at CMCC. I'm pretty sure that will come out this summer as well. There are a limited number of spots, but definitely be sure to check that out if that's something you are interested in doing. Um, people do park on the streets around here, but you're always like risking getting a ticket, things like that, even if you park at the community center and stuff like that. So at the end of the day, of course, it's up to you what you're comfortable with. And yeah, additionally, um, you'll get an email coming out soon about transfer credits. So I thought I wouldn't be able to get any transfer credits because I thought it was like if you took courses at a master's PhD level, you might be able to get those transfer credits. I didn't do a master's or PhD or anything. I just did my undergrad. I went to make master kinesiology and I applied to some transfer credits and I was able to get three. So I got anatomy part one and two, as well as research methods. So I would recommend um, just applying to those transfer credits. I was declined for histology as well as biochemistry, but it's okay. Like it's not the end of the world. 
So basically I can still take those courses, like I'm still doing all the anatomy lectures um, and labs and stuff like that, but I don't need to write the tests. So be sure to apply for those if you think that you will meet the requirements. And of course it's not a bad thing if you don't apply to them because you won't like that extra learning and stuff like that and review. So that's just like a little heads up if you want to apply for transfer credits. If you only did an undergrad degree, that is more than enough, and you probably can still get some transfer credits. Additionally, the gym. So we have a gym on campus that you've, if you've watched like any of my previous videos, that's where I do basically all of my workouts, or my lifts. And basically our gym opens at six in the morning and closes at eight at night. Six to eight, open at any time of the day in between there. And um, yeah, basically you can use it whenever um, within those time periods. And we got some squat racks, we got a bench press, we got a selection of dumbbells. It's a very like basic gym. It has what you need to get a full workout. If you do want a little bit more of a fancy gym, I've gone to the Good Life on Young. I did like that gym. Um, there's not too many gyms in the surrounding area that are that accessible. But yeah, the good life, that's what I've been to, as well as I work at the F45 in Baby Village, which is like a 10 minute drive away. So there are options, as well as the community center. Um, there's a gym at the community center if you wanted to use that gym. I've never actually been, but I do um, know many people that go to that gym. But yeah, for me, the gym at CMCC is more than enough, as well as we have the gymnasium. So a lot of people play sports and stuff in there, basketball, like whatever. There's also intramurals, um, basketball, soccer, la di da di da, um, dodgeball, intramurals, and drop-in as well. So if you want to do that. Additionally, I do all my, like, I do hit workouts and stuff like that in the gymnasium. So like there is space to do your workouts and stuff like that. That was something that like concerned me um, being a kin grad, you know how it is, but yeah. Also, I thought I'd add in that there are some beautiful trails right beside the school that I definitely recommend going in, whether it's a run, a walk, study break, whatever it might be, beautiful trails. Also something really cool that I didn't know going into CMCC is that when you're a student, you get paired up with a fourth year intern who's doing their placement at the campus clinic. And basically you can get free chiropractic care as many times a week as you want. You can go see them at the clinic and it's also of course a great learning opportunity. Last thing I wanted to say is, yeah, congratulations again for getting in. Um, and if you do see me in the halls or whatever at the gym, be sure to say hi. Um, I'd love to meet you, just say hi, see what's up. And I'm really excited for you. So it's going to be an absolutely amazing four years. Take it one day at a time. Do enjoy your summer because this is like a really exciting time, anticipating going to a new program. And yeah, if you have any other questions, concerns like that, um, leave them down below in the comments or you can DM me on Instagram. Um, but yeah, I really hope this video was informative and kind of answered some of the questions you might have. And yeah, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.